Final Fantasy XIII is without question the toughest game in the series. It can't have been easy reaching the end of Orphan's Cradle, and the trio of final bosses awaiting you there aren't going to pull their punches. Pay attention, and you just might make it out of this confrontation alive. Before triggering this series of battles, use the nearby save point to go shopping at B&W Outfitters. Buy as many Cherub's Crowns as you can afford. We'll make use of these later. Open your Paradigm menu and make sure you have the following six Paradigms in your arsenal. Delta Attack, Mystic Tower, Relentless Assault, Combat Clinic, Protection, and Even Odds. Set Protection as your active Paradigm, then head into the circular chamber ahead to begin the game's final challenges. First up is Barthandalus, the five-faced mechanical menace who bombards your party constantly with annoying bursts of lasers. These lasers are nothing compared to its Ultima spell, which nails your party for pretty sizable damage. Worst of all is its Thanatosian laughter attack, which deals ridiculously high damage to all party members. At the start of the battle, you should be in the protection paradigm. Wait for your characters to receive the bravery and faith buffs, then Paradigm Shift to Delta Attack to begin building up Barthandalus' Chain Gauge. You'll quickly notice that you're not dealing much damage, but worry not. The Chain Gauge is far more important at the moment. Once you've filled it halfway, shift to Mystic Tower. Once Barthandalus is staggered, shift to Relentless Assault to lay down the heat, and slowly whittle away the boss's five and a quarter million HP. Don't get cocky though. Shift to Combat Clinic regularly to heal, and also when you see Barthandalus about to use Thanatosian Laughter. Your caution will pay off. Two irreconcilable focuses, sweet boy, yet bound were we in a cocoon prison, impervious to our power. As soon as this fight begins, pause the game and select Retry to return to the menu. Equip Lightning with all those Cherub's Crowns you bought earlier. These will keep her alive in the upcoming Brawl. Also, swap out the Protection Paradigm for Aggression, two Commandos and a Ravager. Set Combat Clinic as your active Paradigm, then exit the menu. Orphan has two forms, Consummate Light and Consummate Darkness. Whenever it shifts from one to the other, it will use its Merciless Judgment attack which saps a terrifyingly high amount of HP from all characters. Use the Combat Clinic Paradigm to heal up after this attack, then shift to even to odds to buff your party and debuff the boss. Your main goal here is to cast Slow on Orphan. Once that's done, shift to Relentless Assault to fill the Chain Gauge. Once you stagger the boss, check to make sure your buffs are still in place. If so, stick with Relentless Assault to inflict heavy damage on Orphan. If not, shift to even odds, reapply your buffs, then go on the offensive. As you near the end of the first stagger period, shift back to Combat Clinic as Orphan is about to hit you with Merciless Judgment again. Heal up, then shift to Relentless Assault to begin filling the Chain Gauge once more. Wait until you stagger Orphan again to remove any debuffs it casts on you in its Consummate Darkness phase. Orphan becomes more dangerous the closer its HP gets to zero. It will use Merciless Judgment more often, and start using Progenitorial Wrath, which can cause instant death to whichever character it hits. The Cherub's Crowns Lightning is wearing should keep her safe, but if one of your allies bites it, use a Phoenix Down to revive them. Using these strategies, you'll most likely bring Orphan down around the third stagger period. Go all out at that point, hammering the boss to shear away its final slivers of health. Orphan's second form is dangerous, though considerably less so than its first iteration. You've got a Doom Timer slapped on you, so there's no time to fool around. Immediately shift to Relentless Assault and start building the Chain Gauge. Orphan will take little to no damage until you stagger it, so speed is key here. Lightning's Army of One ability works great if you remember to select it manually. The final boss won't take this abuse lying down. Orphan loves to slap you around with its silky black tentacle, or use its rebirth attack to inflict the whole party with damage. 
Its kaleidoscopic ray attack is pretty devastating, though it only hits a single party member. Shift to the aggression paradigm during the stagger periods to keep Orphan juggled in the air, where it can't get off any attacks against you. As long as you remember to shift to combat clinic regularly to heal, Orphan's second form shouldn't cause you too much trouble, and will soon fall, leaving Cocoon and the world safe for another day.